right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about offers and contracts. And, you know, I think the first thing you think about when you think about offers and contracts is, well, what if the attorneys kind of do that? Do we really need to have a lot of knowledge of, of contracts? Well, what is it that you do as a licensed agent on a commission basis every day? When do you know you have a successful day? Is when you get some of these, right? Right, when you get signatures. So you want to have very good knowledge of contracts and how they work. So today we'll talk about contracts in a way that you can improve closing ratios, add value for clients, and reduce your risk, and make sure you avoid costly mistakes. Now this is going to be, we're going to go for a lot of information very quickly. So, you know, see your attorney, your broker, your local laws and customs related to legal issues. We're just going to cover a lot of issues to help you make more money as a broker, uh, provide better services for clients, and close more transactions. So, one thing to think about is the impressions that people get from your letter of intent, LOI, or your purchase and sale agreement, PSA, whether you're working on the buy side, the seller side, you kind of can get some knowledge of the players you're playing with, the buyer, the seller, the, the brokers involved, by the look of their contracts. And you'll notice some of that as we go through the session today.